Hey, how's it going, guys? We were talking to Penn State football today. Uh, I just want to talk about something that's obviously been a big topic over the last week or so, and that's whether or not James Franklin is going to leave Penn State. And quite frankly, I do not have James Franklin's mind. So I'm, anything I say, I'm not going to say that I know exactly what Franklin's thinking. I'm not saying I know all the ins and outs of what's going to happen over the next few months. But I think this is the most likely Franklin is going to leave over the course of his tenure. You know, I remember the Texas A&M job was open uh, a few years ago, and a lot of people were talking about him going to Texas A&M. And I did not really believe it. Okay, I mean, for one, I think Penn State's a better job than Texas A&M. And two, Franklin was still building something special at Penn State. And then, you know, I, I just think overall a lot of people like to talk about Franklin leaving. And uh, when he signed the new contract, that kind of helped uh, quash some of those rumors. But now, since you see Franklin um, not really saying, I'm fully committed to Penn State. Like, he's saying that he's kind of beating around the bush, so to say. And I think that's something that is a little bit disappointing if you're a Franklin fan. Personally, I think if you're a Penn State fan, you should not be that upset if Franklin ends up leaving. Okay, and a bunch of people will tell you that if Franklin leaves, all of a sudden the Penn State program's going to dip and everything's going to get worse. And listen, we don't know that, okay? We don't know that. Basically what happens if Franklin's going to leave, we're going to have a roulette of coaches and we're going to pick from somebody who knows who it is. And they might be better than Franklin. I mean, let's not act like Franklin's this amazing coach. Yeah, he did a good job building Penn State back up to national relevancy. But other than that, he's had an opportunity to get us to an elite level. But in 2017, he failed against Ohio State when he could have. That, that season, we should have made the playoff. If we beat Ohio State and Michigan State, really, if we win just one of those games, even when we screw up on one of them, we still make the Big Ten title would be 11-1, and one, and then let's say we beat Wisconsin, then we're, we're making the playoff, and I think we would beat Wisconsin. And it's just one of those frustrating times where, you know, Franklin, he did a great job, okay, he did a great job, he brought in some good recruits, and uh, you got applauded for it, and you should, but when you look at what he's done since then, especially from the fiasco last year, I know it's during COVID, but, you know, a 4-5 and five season at Penn State is not uh, very acceptable, even if he does have kind of an excuse when it comes to COVID. And even this year, you know, he didn't really prepare the team well enough for an injury at quarterback. You look at some of the good coaches out there like Saban and Lincoln Riley, they're able to have decent backups. You know, Georgia right now, uh, they don't need to have JT Daniels to win. And that's the unfortunate thing because we need to have Sean Clifford to even have a chance to win. And Franklin, I mean, or or Clifford's not even, like, this amazing quarterback. He's, he's good, but he's not, like, a Heisman caliber guy. And, you know, it shouldn't be the case. That really should not be the case. And, you know, a lot of people obviously talk about USC and LSU. And USC is certainly an attractive option. He can go to the West Coast. He could uh, recruit really well over there because USC is the premier program on the West Coast, even though they might not be the best right now. Oregon is the best, I would say, and they have been kind of in recent years. But USC, histor historically and prestige-wise, they are the program on the West Coast. And Franklin, early on in his tenure, will be able to sell uh, a future message, a message and hopefully for him get some recruits to come. And he can develop them into a great program again. You know, I really believe he could do that. I don't think that he could. I could see him making him into maybe another Oklahoma where – they do really well in the Pac-12, and then they get to the playoff and get dominated by SEC teams um, or Ohio State, for example, because I think Franklin, that's just the kind of coach he is. He's good enough to get you to a really good level, but he can't get you over the hump because he's not that great of a coach. He's not like a Saban. He's not like a even an Urban Meyer. He's not um, some, some of these great coaches that are able to year in and year out put together – national championship type teams like Dabo Sweeney, for example, he doesn't have that all put together. So that's the thing that I want Penn State fans to realize is just if Franklin is not that guy, he's not that valuable. If he leaves, we could very well bring in somebody who's worse. Okay. I'm, I understand that, but we could bring in somebody who's even better. I mean, heck, I would love to go and get Luke Fickle from Cincinnati. I don't know how willing he would be to leave, um, but Cincinnati isn't exactly the most prestigious program, the hottest job on the market. I think that he, if you give him the right price 
and Penn State's, I think, a top 15 job in the country, he would certainly, I think, be willing to come to Penn State unless he had a better offer. And, uh, you know, I think even if we don't get a guy like Luke Fickle, for example, you can go out and get some offensive coordinator from some good team. You know, I'm not saying you go and bring back Bill O'Brien, who's the offensive coordinator of Alabama, but bring in somebody who's had success doing what they're doing. And, you know, somebody that's going to come in and, and install a good offense, you think they can recruit well. And who knows? I mean, there are plenty of coaches out there that you just you don't know. You could hit the lottery and end up getting another Saban for all you know. You just don't know. And um, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. We fire the guy in the next two or three years. And, you know, the danger is, oh, what if we become another Tennessee or Florida State where we suck for the next decade? Okay, but do you also want to be in perennial nine and three seasons for the next decade? You know, with the occasional maybe 11 and two year, Like, I want to win a national ch championship. I don't want to sit in top 10, 15 range all the time, which is where Penn State's at. And I think that if, if you're okay with that, yes, keep around, keep Franklin around. Okay, if you're good with being good, but if, if, you're, if you're not okay with uh, just being outside of that elite category, being able to compete for national titles, I think Franklin should go. And uh, I think Franklin, the way he's kind of talked about the job is that he seems a little bit disappointed. Um, I don't want to say like in himself, but he's disappointed in maybe where the program is at as a whole when it comes to facilities and stuff because he knows that he can't get everything he wants to at Penn State where if he can go somewhere else, he might be able to do it, especially like LSU. LSU will give him anything he wants. USC probably will too. Um, where Penn State Football is a big deal, but it's not everything. It's not like some schools in the SEC. It's not even like Ohio State. You know, there 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 are other programs that people care about a lot, and there there's money put into them. And uh, Franklin probably doesn't like that. He wants to be able to upgrade a ton of facilities, be able to do a ton of things, pay the assistants more, all that. And uh, I think he likes Penn State. I really do. I just I would not be surprised if he leaves. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this all shakes out. I thought that if he had a really good year this year, that that might just force him to stick around anyways because he's building something special. He has a good class coming in. But this year, the way it's turned the last couple of weeks, I could see us only going like 6-6, six and 7-5, six, and five, something in that range. Like I know that sounds horrible, which it is. But quite frankly, I don't even know if we're going to be Maryland or Rutgers. Okay? I think we're going to get destroyed this week. And then I think we're going to lose – uh, to Michigan and Michigan State and see what happens the rest of the way. All right, well, thank you guys. We are Penn State.